In this video, I will show you how to create your first React application. So first, it is necessary to install Node.js. To check if Node is installed correctly or not, we need to go to the command prompt. Then here, let's type node-version. So here we can see that Node is installed correctly on my computer and this is the version that I have. If you don't have Node, then it is necessary to install it. So to install Node, we have to go to the browser. Here, let's type Node. Let's go to this link. Then we need to download and install Node.js. So we can either download and install the LTS version or the latest version. So once Node is installed correctly, we need to go to the folder where we want to create our new application. In my case, I want to create it in the Documents folder. So I already created a folder called React Projects. And here I want to create my new React application. So let's open the command prompt from this folder. So just here we can type CMD. So to create a new React application, we have to type npx space create React app. Then the name of the application, we can call it my app. Let's press enter. So now the application has been created correctly after about 10 minutes. Let's close this window. And here we can see that we have this new folder. So let's delete the git folder, which is a hidden folder to get rid of the git notifications. Now let's open this folder using VS Code. So this is our React application and to run it we have to go to Terminal, then New Terminal. And here let's type npm start. And we obtain this default application. Now let's delete all the files of the source folder except index.js. So let's delete all of these files. And let's update index.js. So let's delete useless import statements. And let's delete this source code. Then let's create the app component because we already deleted the file that contains this component. We can create it just here. So let's create a function component. And let's return a GSX element. So we can return an H1 element. Let's save the file. And we obtain this text. 